Welcome to the Almighty God and Gospel Girl podcast. Each week, you'll hear testimonies that turned failures into hope, despair into inspiration, and darkness into light, as well as actionable tips and strategies that you can implement in your daily life to overcome obstacles that can detour our Christian walk. Galatians 6.2 tells us to carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Now here's your host, the Gospel Girl, Tammy Becker. The Book of Ruth, the ultimate love story in the Bible. I mean, it's called a literary book, a prophetic book on a personal level. It's one of the most significant books that talks about the role of our Kingsman Redeemer, but it leads to our ultimate Redeemer, Jesus. And those are all the things I was going to talk about today. But the Lord changed all that. Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Becker. Welcome to this week's episode of the Almighty God and Gospel Girl podcast. I've chosen to talk about the Book of Ruth in our readings, which this week were the Book of Ruth all the way through 1 Samuel chapter 20. Now, it's going to be a tough week for me because I've had a lot of things going on and, (laughs) oh, you know, I've lost both of my parents. Trying to get back into just routine, trying to find my place, trying to make sure I'm in God's will. Everything seems out of sort. The one man that I always turn to, my dad, that was always there for me, has now passed also. One I could call any time I had a question for with anything in the Bible. Has now gone to heaven. I mean, good for him. He's rejoicing, that's for sure. But the fleshly body, you know, I'm, I'm left here in the flesh, which is grieving for my parents. So this week is going to be a little tough. But we will get through it. I mean, I had 4,000 words typed because I love the book of Ruth. I mean, it is the ultimate love story. It's just a beautiful story of God's redeeming love and grace in the Bible that his ideal purpose comes to fruition for us. But, (laughs) you know, I lost those words. I have nothing. Right now, I'm just winging it. I lost the words for the podcast. And I haven't been winging the podcast lately. I've been typing them out. If you've been following me, I've been putting them on the website for you so that you could follow along in this study that we're doing, this investigating these rabbit trails and deep diving into the Bible together. But not this week. I lost it, which I have autosave, so I don't even know how I lost it, but wasn't in God's plan. I'm still talking about Ruth today, but God changed it all. He completely changed what I'm talking about, Ruth. I'm not talking about the ultimate love story, the literary level about it, the prophetic message about it, or the Kingston, Kingsman Redeemer. You probably know all that anyway. But what I'm talking about is the story and the purpose in grief that comes from Ruth. You know, to give you a little background, I've been dealing for the past two years with my failing parents. And last summer, I had to go out and basically sell the parents' home, help them sell their home, get them into assisted living. Then January 14th of this year, my mom just couldn't hold on any longer and she went to heaven. Then on the first day of spring, March 20th, I flew out to surprise my dad to California. And while I was in flight, when I landed, my sister told me dad didn't make it. I said, what do you mean dad didn't make it? She goes, he passed. I said, what do you mean dad passed? We had no indication that he was going to pass. I was coming to cheer him up. I was coming to grieve with him. I was coming to work through the grief of mom with him and to help him and to hopefully cheer him up. But yet when I landed, there was another surprise. He had passed. So I had to go see him, but 
not getting to see him alive. <laughs> well, that rocked my world. So I ended up staying in California, helping my two sisters close everything out, clean his apartment, close his retirements out, and prepare what was going to be the celebration of life for my mom on May 1st, now became a double celebration for life. And so I stayed away from home. We worked through all that, traveled to Arizona because my dad wanted his pastor from where he had lived and they had their marriage together their whole life in Arizona and their pastor to do the celebration of life. We went over there on May 1st to do that and to say our final goodbyes. Now I'm home. That was the first and I am just struggling to find my place. I'm struggling to get through the grief and to just see what this season is. Sometimes you, I, I feel inadequate right now. And so when I lost all the words to the podcast, I'm like, oh, is this, well, you gave me the podcast. You got after me, Lord, for way over a year to, to do the podcast. So pray about it. Sometimes I, you know, I feel like sometimes when God is silent, he's waiting for us to calm down and to listen. Sometimes in through the grief, I don't know if I'm, I'm hearing him. So I'm taking a moment. This podcast is due out tomorrow. I don't know if you guys will get it tomorrow, but we'll do my best. But pray for me because I am grieving and we all go through this. It's part of life. I mean, we start dying from the day that we're born. But when we talk about Ruth in the Bible, we know that God identifies there's a purpose and there's a plan. Just as with Ruth, we don't understand when she loses, when they all lose their husband, Ruth, Naomi loses her husband and her two daughter-in-laws lose their husbands and they're grieving. We don't know the whole purpose. At that time, they didn't know the whole purpose. Long story short, we do know that our Redeemer comes from the line of Boaz, becomes their Kingsman Redeemer through their grief and through their loss. So there's mixed blessings in that story that we see. When we're in our current chapter, we don't know what's going to be the next chapter. We can't always know what's going to be the next chapter where God has planned for us or what's going to happen. But we can rest knowing that whatever God has is the ultimate plan for my life, for your life, for our life. And things may not seem the best right now. Like dad's passing doesn't seem the best. Mom's passing doesn't seem the best. But we're going to see in our next chapter, our next season, that it's all going to go together for the good of the Lord. As of today, I don't see it necessarily. But I know from previous experience with the Lord that it all ties together and that it will all be well down the road. And I need to trust and obey and continue to study in his word as do we all. But the longer that we stay in the field of loss is the longer that we lose the treasure that God has for us. Again, God is good. We went to church this past week and it just seems like God always puts in front of us what we need. And lo and behold, guess what the pastor <laughs> taught on? <laughs> he taught on the book of Ruth. But guess what he taught on? He taught, and well, in fact, his title was called A Redeeming Faith in a Grieving World. So you tell me that God isn't putting in front of me something that I need. And what did he call grief? What did he say? He said, grief, these were from his notes. Grief is a spiritual response to the experience of loss, often accompanied by emotional and physical symptoms as well. So when we look at the book of Ruth, we see that if you look in chapter one, I mean, there's only four, four books, uh, four chapters in the book of Ruth. So in chapter one, we see that grief is weaponized by the devil. It's, it's by, he's, he weaponizes grief by the, you know, he, 
to attack our soul in response to Naomi. And what he does is he uses her emotion and makes her become bitter to attack her soul by trying to tell her to isolate herself so he can prevent her healing because if she wants to send out her daughter-in-laws off and let her grieve herself and isolate herself and the devil that is what he's trying to, to do to use it and that's what he tries to do to us in grief he uses that thought of like god is rejecting you he wants to use your emotional your physical and your mental to try to defeat you spiritually but then when we look at all those things that the devil was trying to do to Naomi and attack her, what we do see is this response in Ruth and how we should act in our own world today. The response of Ruth of how redeeming, that redeeming faith that our Savior has and the outcome of grief is because that we have to invest in the ones that we haven't lost. She didn't hold on to the one. She had lost a husband too. But she was choosing to invest in the mother-in-law that she hadn't lost. She had to trust. She loved God as where the other daughter-in-law chose to leave and go back to the other place and the other gods and everything. Ruth trusted and loved God and wanted to stay with Naomi. She trusted in God even when she didn't understand her circumstances. She wanted to live her life with righteousness. You see that in Ruth 3.10. She was certain that God would redeem what was lost and he would provide with purpose and love and meaning to their life. And that's how that closed out in chapter 4. And he did just that. So you can take all four of those books and not only see that it's the most beautiful love story of all, but you can also take it in a totally different way about taking the grief of seeing what Satan tried to do to poor Naomi, which is just what my heart needed. I don't know if anyone out there is dealing with grief today, and it could be grief from, it doesn't even have to be grief from a loved one. It could be grief if you might have lost your home, you might have lost your job, you might have lost a friend or a friendship, or you're separated from your family, or... It could be a million things that you're grieving, but it doesn't have to be. Go back to the what we have to our Father. Go back to the ones that are in our life. If you're estranged from family members, cling to the ones that are in your life. Don't worry about the ones that aren't there. Cling to the ones that God has in your life right now. If you have lost, as I have, cling to the ones that are in your life. If you've lost financially or you've lost your home, Get to church. Get to places that can help you and pray for you and help you look for places that can hopefully get you substantial help, lead you in the direction. There's hope in the book of Ruth. It is a beautiful love story, but it's so much more than that. It does lead to our Redeemer to Jesus. It is the bloodline that leads to David that leads to Jesus. It is a beautiful love story of a daughter-in-law that stays with her mother-in-law. It is a beautiful love story of the Kingsman Redeemer doing the right thing and taking on this family. But here we see that it's so much more than that. It is just another treasure in the little book of Ruth that I never even noticed until Sunday. And I went to church and God gave it to me and said, this is why you're missing your 4,000 word podcast, because this is what you needed to talk through today. You needed to talk about grief and how Satan will use your grief to create bitterness and isolation and to make you think that God's rejecting you when he's not. We haven't lost the ones that are with us right now. We just need to trust the character of God so that we can live a righteous life because God will redeem us. God always has a plan for us. God always has a season for us. I don't know what my season is right now. I don't know what the next season is. I don't want to know what next week will bring, but I know this week was hard. <laughs> this was a hard week and every day is hard when I wake up. 
but we just got to pray. We've got to stay with our Father. He's got a plan for us. We are just in the flesh right now. And the flesh has all kinds of emotions and all kinds of things that can lead us astray with, as when the Satan wants us to, to dive into those feelings instead of staying where we need to be, which is in God's character and in his love and basking in that. So if you're grieving today, turn to the book of Ruth. Look at it in a new way. Look at it that grief can be redeemed through our ultimate redeemer, and that's Jesus Christ. This is Tammy Becker. I hope to see you or have you back listening next week with the Almighty God and Gospel Girl podcast. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to another weekly episode of the Almighty God and Gospel Girl podcast. If you have a testimony you would like to share with us, please contact us through our website at youministries.com. That's Y-O-U-Ministries.com. Until next week, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace.